I think you're on mute, Wally. Uh, Kim, uh, I'm really happy to have written that letter of uh, recommendation for you to become a skills coach with Hockey Canada. And uh, your reply last night, commenting on Zoom calls you've been having and holding over a number of uh, years, but particularly this year, teaching skills online. And you mentioned last week's session. And uh, I, I really would be interested, as I think many people would that are still involved in coaching, uh, which, you know, sharing some of that that you mentioned last night, if you can, about uh, you said the sessions went quite well. The thing that amazes me with Kim's work, she's been able to make quite a season out of it through Zoom using her imagination, but to use it in terms of skill uh, Skill, skill development and hockey sense has been rather unique, and I think it's an untapped side of the game. So, Kim, you can take the stage if you can handle it with your hands full. <laughs> well, with these two, I'm never uh, front and center on stage, obviously, so I'll do my best. Um, thanks, Wally. So part of uh, the reason I brought up the Zoom sessions uh, when we were talking about the reference letter was uh, part of uh, applying to be a Hockey Canada certified skills coach is they want you to send on ice video of you teaching. So I said to Corey McNabb, well, I haven't been on ice teaching since November, but I can send you a lot of video clips of me in my yellow garage. And he had a chuckle because I've known Corey for many years. Uh, so I, I'm sure I inundated him with those. But uh, I started doing something different this week. Um, I had a free camp I ran last week. I had over 100 people at and then I have 50 people this week. Uh, 50 girls. Um, but as I looked at the registration, the majority of them have done the majority of my online camps, which is crazy uh, <laughs> since last March. So I thought, okay, I've got to make it a little different. I mean, I don't have to, <laughs> but I want to. And so I'm not teaching any skills differently, but what we do at the end of every hour long session is we have a, a daily challenge and they can submit a video of themselves doing the challenge to me and then they win a prize. So um, what I decided to do this week is, because I've done 500 plus of these sessions now, is the five sessions this week all build on each other. So uh, Monday's session was setup moves or fakes, you know, so a basic D, weight shift, you know, go one way, pull the puck the other way. And so I said, okay, I want you to show me your best setup move. You can finish it with a shot on net or whatever. And I had 25 of the 40 girls send me a video clip of them doing a setup move. Uh, junior players all the way down to little U9 players. And they all submitted the video. Um, and then I picked a winner and I announced the winner the next day. And then the second day camp was focused on shooting in stride, which you can teach off the ice um, surprisingly well, actually. So the idea of marrying the shot and step. And so the second day challenge was, now I want you to combine your setup move with marrying your shot and step. So we took what happened in day one. Yes, that's true. Women's rec players are taking the session too. Um, so on day one, it was setup moves. Day two was shot and stride, but the challenge on day two was to combine them. And then the day three, uh, yesterday we worked on puck protection. So three or four different skills to protect the puck. So the challenge last night was, okay, now you need to combine a setup move and a puck protection move with a shot and stride. So I show them a couple examples, but then they submit videos which look nothing like my examples. Sometimes they're hilarious because it's a nine-year-old and their interpretation of what that means is quite funny. And then the junior players just blow it out of the water. But the reason I started doing it was largely based on what we talked about in the shark session was, you know, was getting, just asking instead of telling. A lot of the time the, the skills are try to do 50 of these or how many of X can you do Whereas this time was, well, be creative, show me what you can do, right? And so I'm picking not always the best move, because of course, usually the junior players would win, win most of those. And sometimes a U10 kid wins, um, but it's really neat to see what they've come up with. Uh, it's actually way better than the challenges I did for you know the last 12 months, because now they're creative and they're way more engaged. So in past challenges, if I had 40 people enrolled, five to 10 of them would try to win the prize. You know, now I'm getting 60 to 70% of them 
trying to win the prize every single day. And even the kids who've already won the prize trying to win some more. So, you know, today we're going to work on changing the shot angle. So now I'm going to ask them to combine. Well, some of them might be, not be able to do four of the things, but three or four of the things together. So um, I don't know. Yeah, It's mostly just keeping myself uh, learning and, in, and interested by changing it up. I'm sure I could still run the same Zoom sessions I did last March um, and no one would be the wiser, but uh, it's actually worked out really well. And you guys would be pretty impressed, actually, some of the stuff these girls are coming up with if you just let them be creative. Um, it's, it's really neat to see. And you can see they're really understanding what I'm teaching them, right? Because if they send me a video of a setup move and it doesn't look like what we taught, then I know they didn't understand, right? If I sh talk to them about marrying the shot and step and they show me these videos and they're not doing it, then it tells me they didn't understand. So by virtue of them sending it and checking each box as we layer things on, I know they've learned it. So it's actually validating for me, especially you're teaching in the Zoomiverse. None of them have their cameras on because it would crash the whole thing. So I actually can't see what they're doing. So it's a great way for me to validate. And then, of course, I when they email me their video, I say, hey, next time, try to get your left hand away or try to shoot off your other foot. So, you know, various tricks of the trade, uh, I guess I've learned in the Zoomiverse over the last little while. Alan, L, you, you shared a video of your U, U8 kids with me recently in one of the last games they've played. And, uh, you know, 